Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. Today, we're gonna talk about things that nobody wants to talk about with RV living. Confession time? I may or may not have accidentally clogged our drain. Good job, Madison. Pat on the back for that one. How I discovered this was our digital readout told us that the black and gray water tank were full, so I needed to dump it. So I went and connected our line to the sewer, dumped the black water, then gray water one, and then gray water two. And when gray water two, when I pulled out the valve for it, nothing came out. It was like slow trickle. I'm like, oh, this is really bad. What do I do? I did a lot of research and we're gonna do an experiment today on this channel to figure out how we can best fix clogged sink drains in an RV. All right, so if you guys are new here and haven't clicked on my channel before, my name is Madison. I make Christian homemaking videos. We are transitioning to full-time RV living and I love DIY projects. So if you're enjoying any of those things, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be welcomed into this faithful home with me. And let's talk about how we need to fix this problem. So if you are new to RV living, you are going to start familiarizing yourself with the terms black tank and gray tank. Those are the tanks that hold the water and the waste in your RV until you dump them. So the black water tank holds your toilets discards. And I personally, in our RV, it's a 35 foot fifth wheel, we have two gray tanks. So one of them holds all of the water from the shower and then the other one holds all the water from the kitchen sink as well as the bathroom sink. And the kitchen and bathroom sink is the one that is clogged. So along with the fact that you are going to have to dump these often, you want to make sure that specifically in your kitchen sink, you are not putting food scraps down the drain. It will get clogged and it will be bad. Case in point, this is where we're at. So I wanna give you two good ways to be able to unclog your sink if you have some food particles that accidentally went down it. And these are easy and ways that you can safely clean out your RV plumbing. You do not want to use Drano or anything of that sort because Drano is such a harsh chemical agent that it will eat away and corrode at your plumbing in the RV. You do have to remember that this is a recreational vehicle. It's not a brick and mortar house. It does not have the same structure as such, so you cannot do the conventional method. So Drano's out of the question. What I did earlier before having to run to the store is I took a kitchen pot. I filled this whole thing up with water and I boiled it on the stove. So after I did that, I poured it down the drain and let it sit. Then I went outside and checked on the valve. I opened it up and I watched the water start to trickle out. It did help. It helped break it up a little bit, but not enough to fully flush out the gray tank. Next, we are going to move to something more powerful. And I did some research on this, read a lot of forums that talked about how this is beneficial. What we are going to do is we are going to take baking soda and distilled white vinegar. When you combine these two together, the chemical agents react against each other, creating a foamy volcano. It's a fun science experiment if you want to do it with your kids. For this instance, we'll pour the baking soda down into the sink when we pour the vinegar on top of it, it will start to eat away at all of the food particles that are stuck in your drink. All right, so that science experiment was just as cool on camera as it was in person. But what I need to do now is let this activation sit in the drain. We're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes before we boil some more water and dump it down the drain. So I will check back with you guys in 30 minutes.
All right, so the moment of truth comes when we actually go outside. Ooh, bright. When we actually go outside and check our water tanks. So let's go check those out and see if we made any progress. Oh, let's look at this guy. So I know you guys are probably going to ask, why did I let this just drain straight onto the ground and not into our septic system? And because I had already emptied the black tank, I know that the black tank has to properly be disposed of through the sewer system. So that is taken care of. Since this is a gray water tank and it is just primarily the water from the sink when we wash our hands and do the dishes, it's okay if a little bit goes onto the ground. I need to make sure that the food particles that were in this are coming out. And I can't really see that as well if I hook it up to the septic system. So I can watch, you can't see it on camera, but I can watch the food chunks that I previously had stuck come out in this system, which means that what I did worked. And that's all I needed to know. So I can go and put the tube and have it run to the septic to drain the rest of it. All right guys, we did it. We officially unclogged my gray tank. I am so happy because I had dishes that I needed to get done and that would have been bad if I could not get this unclogged. So super happy about how this worked. Baking soda and vinegar is a great solution mixture. I would suggest doing it on the regular as part of your routine for cleaning out your gray tanks. Maybe every time that you open it, you can let it drain and then do this concoction mixture and let it kind of clean it out. I know that like when we have our black tanks, we have a hose that cleans the tank. So much like that, you wanna clean your pipes that lead to your gray tanks. So this is a great option and boiling water as well, just a good thing to utilize. The last thing I want to mention before I finish up is something that I probably should have bought before we started transitioning into this RV, but never too late. This is, this is a dish strainer set. So it is just a simple mesh set. It comes in a set of three. So the largest one I will be putting in the kitchen sink. And I think the smallest one is the right size for the bathroom. These are going to make a huge difference. From now on, I will not have food particles accidentally going down the drain. It'll get trapped in this trap. I can take this, dump it out into the trash can. Literally was like $6 at Kroger. Something that I should have invested in a long time ago, but I at least am getting it now. So this would be the last thing I would suggest to you guys to help keep your gray water tanks and your pipes clear from crap that builds up and clogs your pipes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got a good bit of information about it, about RV living, whether you are part-time, full-time, or a weekend warrior. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. And if you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I regularly upload every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I'll check back with you next week for another video. Bye, guys.